Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Friday Quickie Technique and Tips. I'm really excited to show you my tip for today because it's really cool. It's actually a technique. It's called Faux Suede. And if you look at the Razzleberry Circle on here, I'm going to bring this up really close and I hope you can see that there is really cool texture to that circle. And the way I did that, <coughs> excuse me, is I took and punched a two inch raspberry circle. I'm gonna use my bone folder and go over this back and forth, frontwards, backwards, sideways, whatever, all over again and again. Um, for those of you who don't know, I live in Iowa, but I'm from Minnesota originally. So did you hear me say bone folder? Isn't that kind of funny? <laughs> um, it makes me giggle whenever people tell me I talk funny. So here is my piece of paper and it, the layers literally start coming apart. So hopefully you can see that. And then I'm just going to carefully pull the rest. And then I have this beautiful suede looking paper from the inside. And so what I'm going to do is I've punched a two and three eighths inch circle. And I will use some fast fuse to attach my faux suede piece to this. And then if you would like a little more dimension, you can just tip up each one of the little scallops. And this goes really quick and it just kind of adds a nice little dimension to that. Um, I've gone ahead and prepared my card. So I have that right here for you. I'm going to stamp the sentiment. It is from the, or actually, hold on, I'm going to hold up. I have my acorn here first. So I stamped my acorn and punched it out with the new acorn builder punch. And I love these little acorns and I think with the punch they're even more adorable because you can easily, you know, mix up the color combos and I think that's really cute. So I'll take and pop this up with a dimensional onto my faux suede circle like so. Then I will pop that up onto my card and then um, stick this on my card. You know I have this one up here. I'm going to stick this one down a little further. We'll see. We'll see how that looks. Then I'm going to stamp my sentiment. This is from Watercolor Wishes, the, car the cute card kit in the catalog, which that is a tongue twister, isn't it? It's so cute. I love the stamp set. Now I'm going to do my first, oh, that was just something crashing in my office. Just, you know, a usual day here. Um, I'm going to flick my marker on here. This was my first Friday quickie, so you can check that video out, but oh, how cute is that? Okay, so when I was making these cards, this is the first one I did, and, and it's harder to see on the um, crumb cake, but that's the layer that has the faux suede on it. But wait, there's more. There always is. Okay, so I also made this card. Okay, my tip though for this is if you're doing a bigger piece Pardon me. Not Well, I mean, it is bigger, but also it's a more intricate shape. It's got all these ins and outs. What I would do is take your piece of paper, run it a gazillion times, separate out the layers completely, then cut it out with your framelit or your punch or whatever. It, it should punch just fine if you have a punch um, or if you're doing the framelit. Um, the framelit works great. And then you um, won't have to worry about ripping off a hunk, which is actually what I know from personal experience. So isn't this just, I'm sorry, I think this is a gorgeous card. Um, I, I just think it's beautiful. Anyway, enough of that. Here's another one I did. <laughs> This has the Razzleberry layer is suede and I sponged around the edge. The two brown leaves are just regular leaves, nothing special about them, but I crumpled them up and sponged the edge and oh, again, love it. So anyway, I hope you like this technique today. Please stop by my uh, blog, thecreativitycave.com for all of the pictures as well as my product list and dimensions of, what, of everything and it will be there from uh, September 18th, 2015. And if you need to order anything, just click on one of those pictures and it'll bring you to my online store. I so appreciate your support. I hope you're liking these videos. Let me know what you think and please share this with your friends and help get the word out. Have an awesome weekend. Happy stamping!